this question 3.54 here it says find the mesh current i1 y2 and i3 in the uh, circuit in the figure okay so this one is a little complicated than the other ones because it has three but um it just means that there's three unknowns and you will have three equations because there's three loops and then when you have a when you have equal amount of unknowns with equal amount of equations, then you're guaranteed uh, to find independent equations, uh, guaranteed to find all the answers. Okay, using either matrices or Gauss eliminations or substitution and whatnot. Okay, so first we will start with I1 as it listed in the uh, in the circuit. So we'll start from maybe like this knot over here. Actually, let me change the color. Maybe to like, yeah, the rainbow color. There you go. Use this one right over here. Okay. So it will give you, so if you go clockwise, then you enter the negative terminal of the 12 voltage. So it's negative 12V uh, plus 1K ohm and then times the I1, I1, right? And then plus okay and then here's things gets a little tricky um here it's so i1 is going this direction right so you have two current afflicting with this resistor so i1 is going from top to bottom i2 is going from bottom to top so they are in conflict of each other and how do we determine who's positive and who's negative is a matter of perspective right so if we're looking at this and this okay we're looking at i1 so i1 is positive so it's I1 minus I2 in this case, right? Okay, this is might be a bad idea in my, because I might not be able to see this clearly. So change to a more consistent color. Uh, yeah, yeah, regular ones. Yellow, there we go. Yellow is nice. Okay. And plus 10 V, right? In the end? Okay. Uh, equals zero because this is close drop voltage law, right? And then now we're going I2. I2, uh, it's going, so we can start, I don't know, this right over here. So negative 10 V uh, plus uh, 1 K ohm times I2 minus I1, right? And then plus uh, I K ohm I2 and then plus uh, one, so one ohm. This is, I think this is a typo. Okay, I think this is a typo. I'm gonna use one K ohm uh, just for the consistency, but if you're, you guys are doing something else, like your professor wants you to use ohm, then go for it. I'm just gonna use I, 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 uh, one K ohm, okay? Uh, so I2 minus I3, and then, uh, that's it. It gives you zero. Okay. And then the last one, I3 is I2, I1. Okay. I3 is, so we start from here, plus 1K ohm. Um, I3 minus I2, right? Plus uh, 1K uh, ohm, I13. And then minus uh, 12B gives you zero. Right? Okay. So we have three unknowns and three equations. Uh, I can just, now it's just pure math, but I can simplify this for you guys. So that's what I usually do. So this is I1, right? See, that's why I shouldn't use this. This is I1, right? So, okay, so 1K I1 plus another uh, one, 1K one ohm I1. So that's 2K ohm I1, and then minus 1K uh, I2. Oh my two, and then so plus ten minus twelve. That's negative two. Most of the other side is two, two voltage, right? Okay, and then we go I two. Simplify these things so we know that uh, I ten ten will give to the other side. Uh, we have let's see. So there's a negative I one. So it's negative one k ohm I one, and then I two. So there's going to be a lot of I twos. So okay, so there's one k. 2k, 3k, right? So plus 3k uh, i2, 3k ohm i2, and then i3. So i3 is just one, uh, which is minus 1k ohm i3. 
right? Fantastic. Okay. And then the last one, I3. Sorry, I should draw these arrows. I3. Uh, so we have y So I3 and I2, we don't have I1s. Okay. So negative uh, 1k ohm uh, I2. And then plus 2. Uh, 2k ohm I3. Right. And this whole thing gives us 12 because negative 12e equals the other side. Okay. So this, now you can use substitutions. Uh, so what I usually do is trying to find a common factor between the three equations. So let's see, this one has I1 and I2. This one has Y1, I2, and I3. And this one has I2 and I3. So apparently, I2 is all the uh, common factors, right? Well, should include the negative in front of it. OK. I can do better than that. Uh, I can do better than this. OK, fantastic. So I2 is a common um, common numerator, or I don't know, a common factor. So what you can do is you substitute, so you, you write I1 uh, in terms of I2, uh, I2 in this equation, right? Because this is linear. So you write I1 in terms of I2 and substitute in here, and then you write I3 uh, in terms of uh, I3, uh, I2 in this and then you and everything is i2 and then you solve it right that's usually how i do it is just find a common common factor of all the equations and then write everything else as in that as in that common factor right or you can just use matrix right use a computer i mean calculator both works right 1k zero right i1 is 2k negative i2 so one negative 1k right Yes, and then here's negative one, uh, 3k, and uh, negative 1k, right? Fantastic, and this is zero, negative 1k, and uh, 2k, okay? Uh, so i1, i2, and i3, and then, so yeah, if you're allowed to use calculator during the exam, you can, you can just write this and then say calculated, calculated by, uh, calculator or obtain through a calculator, right? So you, ha you have to write this down uh, to let your professor know. Okay, so you, you didn't just like know the answer or copy down from somebody else's question. So like, this is what I put in, this is what I received. That's what I was taught in IB. Um, it's important to show your work and this is one way to do it. And then in the end, either you solved it using Gauss elimination or substitution or using the uh, matrices. Uh, you can find the answer in the end as, let's change it back into yellow. So I1 uh, is 2.25 milliamps, remember, because it's K ohm and voltage. So it's milliamps, right? If it's just ohms and volts, it's, it's ampere, right? Uh, you can go into specifics. It doesn't always have to be that, but this is usually the way it tends to be it. Uh, so I2 is, well, I2 is 5, uh, 8.5 uh, milliamps, right? And then I3 is uh, 1.025 uh, milliamps. Okay. And that is the final answer for this question. So this one is uh, a little interesting. Uh, it's not that hard, right? You just have to write three equations instead of two, and then you solve for it. I uh, H individually. And remember this method, right? This method is very helpful, uh, finding the common factors and then uh, and represent that equation like that factor and plug it in, right? So this equation will have all of the similar terms and then you solve for one and then you solve for the rest of the two other uh, unknown terms. Okay, so hopefully uh, this was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.